slick streets, as Mike showed you, leading to a dangerous drive. A trooper's cruiser taking the brunt of this blow this morning on I-35 and more. Our storm tracker is on the scene right after it happened. News 4's Lauren Daniels picks up the story from there and has a warning for drivers. Looks like we got a multi-vehicle accident. An early morning wreck leading to a dangerous situation. It's starting to snarl traffic just a little bit. State troopers working a crash on I-35 near Southeast 27th Street and more when a driver lost control, their vehicle sliding into one of the troopers' units. He was outside his vehicle, so gratefully we can say that he wasn't injured. Trooper Eric Foster with OHP says they often use their vehicles to block the scene, and in this case, everything worked as planned. But troopers know it could have been so much worse. When a car loses control on ice, there's no warning. It doesn't make the noises that you think, like in the movies, where you hear skidding tires or whatever. It's almost silent. Law enforcement and first responders already urge drivers to take it slow on ice, but they ask for even more caution and space when they see patrol cars, stranded drivers, or ambulances on the road. Just slow down. It's okay, you know, to be late somewhere, then, then to rush it and then get in a crash and never make it at all. And if you can, stay home. The roadways can be deceiving. The highways kind of seem fine, and then you come across one of these little slick spots, especially on that bridge right there, and uh, you lose control, and uh, the result is this wreck right here. Just wait to do those errands or you know, to do that traveling because the fewer cars on the road, the better it is for everybody. Lauren Daniels, Oklahoma's News 4. One thing troopers are seeing is people pulling out their cell phones to record wreck scenes as they drive by. They ask you never do that, no matter the weather or the road conditions.